What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and looks like it's that time of month again. The time of month when we find a new iOS bypass. In this latest version, it works on iOS 8.0.2, 8.0, 7.1.2, and all iOS 7 firmwares. Now this is the second bypass I have personally found, and I gotta admit they're not easy to find, but if you do find one, you just can't help but shake your head and say, wow, this is the latest version of iOS, and we're still finding ways to get around the lock screen and get into personal data. Now a few days ago, a fake bypass video was released and a whole bunch of news sites picked up on it without actually testing it. So I encourage you to test this out for yourself. It does work. And what it actually allows you to do is get into people's emails, read them, send new emails, post to Twitter or check messages, send messages when you restrict that ability from the lock screen. Now this is something that's been around for a while. It just hasn't been discovered. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So real quick, I do want to confirm I am running the latest 8.0.2 firmware on my iPhone 6 Plus, as you guys can see right there. So in passcode settings, I wanna show you that Touch ID has been disabled, so I don't accidentally trigger that. Anyways, that is off, and let's go ahead and test this out. Siri, show me all of my emails. You'll need to unlock your iPhone for... Siri, send an email. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Siri, read me all of my recent messages. You have five messages from five people. You'll need... Siri, post Twitter. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. So this is just an example of a few commands that Siri will not let you do without actually putting in your password. And just doing this one little thing, we can go ahead and allow those things to become a reality without a password. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Siri, send an email. You'll need to unlock your iPhone for Siri, show me all of my emails. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Okay, so we asked it a command and it doesn't let us do that. Anyways, take a SIM eject tool and go ahead and eject that SIM card. Make sure you're not connected to Wi-Fi so you lose all service and then pop it back in. Now while it's reconnecting, go into here and let's alter this just a little bit. I'm going to remove the of. Now you need to alter the text. Before we select done, we're gonna wait for it to reconnect up there. So in a minute here, there we go. And go ahead and select done. Checking for new email. And boom, you're in. It's doing what it just didn't let you. You needed a password, but now it's letting you see your email. You have 14 emails since 2.50 a.m. So sometimes it says content not available, that's okay. Just re-ask it. Siri, show me all of my emails. Checking email. You have at least 25 emails since yesterday. And there you go. As you guys can see, it does show you all of your emails and Siri, read me my latest email. Here's one. At 2.57 p.m., everything Apple Pro sent you an email about bypass test. It says, this is a test email to show you that the bypass does read emails. And there you go. As you guys can see, it did read me that email. Siri, send an email. To whom would you like to send this message? And it does let you actually send emails. So let me show you guys the next portion of this bypass. See, some people can disable messages on the lock screen from being previewed. And let me go ahead and show you how that's done. So if you go into settings, notifications, and then go into messages, you can disable previews. And that doesn't allow you to see messages or Siri to read them from the lock screen without a passcode. Also, in my Twitter account, I am signed in, but I've disabled Siri from using it. So let me go ahead and show you that it doesn't work with a passcode. Siri, read me my latest messages. You have five messages from five people. You'll need to unlock your iPhone to hear them. As you guys can see, I can't read that. Also, Siri, post to Twitter. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. See, I can't do that either. So let me go ahead and ask Siri to read me my messages and I'll show you that this bypass does work with these as well. Siri, read me my latest messages. You have five messages from five people. You'll need to unlock your iPhone to hear them. Okay, so that's out of there. Let's alter the text. As you guys can see, it's been altered. I'm just gonna wait for it to connect. 
And after you, you know, you do the pull thing, you don't have to do it again. So you could just do all those commands after pulling it just once. But once you exit out of Siri, you have to redo it. Anyways. There are no messages. Sometimes it'll tell you there are no messages, so you gotta play with it just a little bit, but I'll go ahead and directly ask it for one person. Siri, read me all of the messages from Yarrow T. You have a message from Yarrow T. Capital G. <laughs> Siri, post to Twitter. May I use your Twitter account to post a tweet? As you guys noticed, it was actually I off. I need your account information to do that. I'll ask it again. Siri, post to Twitter. May I use your Twitter account to post a tweet? Okay, what would you like to say? This is a bypass test. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Okay, I sent your tweet. And as you guys can see, it actually altered the setting inside of Twitter. It turned it to on. So this bypass allows you to read messages, check all emails, read emails, post to Twitter, pretty much just make Siri really slack and allow you to do stuff that you usually wouldn't without a password. And it is a serious security hole. So guys, like and share this video so the word can get out and Apple can patch this. But in the meantime, if you go into settings and you go into privacy, or actually touch ID and passcode in here, enter your passcode and disable Siri on the lock screen until this patch is fixed. That will help you with your security issues. But in the meantime, guys, iOS 8.0.2 is flawed and I gotta show you this does work on the latest 8.1. So here I have the iPhone 6 on iOS 8.1 beta 1. And let me go ahead and show you that this does work as well. Siri, send an email. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Pop that back in, and let's go ahead and alter that text. Okay, once it catches service again, go ahead and select done. To whom shall I send it? And boom, you're in. You can do it now. I didn't quite get that. So guys, the question I have now for Apple is, is this going to be patched in 8.0.3 or is Apple going to wait until 8.1 leaving people vulnerable? But we should expect a software update soon to fix this patch. Guys, in the meantime, secure yourselves, remove Siri from the lock screen and you will not be affected. Anyways, have a great day guys. Peace.